Hello, my name is Jonathan Brewster. I'm the director of the North Carolina Japan Center under the Office of Global Engagement at NC State University. I'm very, very pleased to uh, be working with the Global Film Series at the Office of Global Engagement to bring you the Japanese film After the Storm. After the Storm came out in 2016 and it won the Un Certain Regard, that's my best French, French pronunciation, at the Cannes Film Festival in 2016. This award goes to a film, a film in that section with distinction in non-traditional or unusual narratives. The director is a very well-known director in Japan. His name is Horo Kazu Koreeda, and he's a Waseda University graduate. He has a number of quite famous films. Um, two of my favorites are titled Nobody Knows from 2004 and Shoplifters in 2018. Uh, Koreeda-san tends to deal with rather heavy and difficult subject matter, uh, child abandonment, non-traditional familial archetypes, and the main subject of this film, which is divorce and the human beings that get caught in its wake. Now divorce, or dikon in Japanese, it, contrary to popular belief, is not an alien subject. Uh, in Japanese culture history. In fact, before World War II, during the Meiji era, which was from 1868 to 1912, Japan had a comparatively high divorce rate, uh, but this was in the form of a husband having uh, the capability to dismiss his wife. And equality between men and women uh, at least on paper, in this and in other areas of law, was codified post-war. Now that being said, divorce in Japan has been seen traditionally as a, a last resort and even shameful. Um, however, the rate of divorce has climbed significantly over the post-war decades, and the majority of divorces in Japan now are initiated by the wife. It's also important to state that alimony and child support are not heavily enforced in Japan. And it was actually found in 1996 that only about 15% of divorced fathers were actually paying child support. It's also extremely hard for divorced women to go back to using their maiden names. And the traditional Japanese culture or viewpoint of wives and mothers being responsible for the housework, cooking, and rearing the children, whether or not they have a career, has often left divorced women with very little in terms of their careers. Though this film largely revolves around the main character of Diota, a former prize-winning novelist and divorced father, played by the incredible Hiroshi Abe, I would like you to also pay attention to the people around him. His son Shingo, his ex-wife Kyoko, his mother, his sister, his employer, and so on. Think about the decisions Ryota makes and to what degree those decisions have affected the people around him. What is his awareness of this? and? I'd also like you to also be thinking about forgiveness and how this theme is used, this subject is used in this film. And don't worry, it's not all doom and gloom. The director, Koreeda-san, is especially masterful at placing humor at just the right moments in his films. So please enjoy this great movie. If this is your first Japanese film, I sincerely hope that it inspires you to watch more.